Hello everyone, I'm back with Power Wheels for Success and I'm going to dive into a heavy topic today. I might not cover all the aspects because there's a lot. Uh, this one is about safety, so I might do like safety one, safety two, safety three. Uh, so this, this safety segment is going to be about when you are in your power wheelchair. So these are skills that are important to hone in because a power wheelchair versus a manual wheelchair, the power wheelchair is going to weigh about 180 up to 400 pounds, depending on the type of wheelchair you have. So when you are driving this 400 pound beast, you really have to be careful on speed, where you're going, what's around you. Um, so we're going to talk about those different segments. All right. So let's say you're in a busy house. Let's say you're in a busy section or mall or something. You want to go at a slower speed. Even though you'd love to race down that hallway uh, or that corridor or that next room, you really got to slow down. Uh, for your own protection and for the protection of the people who are around you and objects. Obviously, if you can't stop in time, you might make a hole in the wall. Uh, so you want to be mindful of, first of all, speed, depending on your location. Who's around? You know, so if it's just you, it's just your house, then you can pick the speed you want. But if there are other people, animals, pets involved, you really want to consider, okay, what's a prudent, what's a safe speed here, you know? Um, if you are in a location, let's say the mall, let's say on a Sunday you went to the mall, it was a special holiday, and there was a lot of people there. So in that case, first of all, you want to, if you have people in front of you, keep your distance. Remember, your power wheelchair weighs double. It weighs the weight it has, whether it's 180 pounds or 350 pounds, plus you in it. So if you hit somebody from behind, it's going to hurt. So you want to keep your distance, okay? You want to be mindful of your speed, obviously. You know, anytime you're turning, also when you're turning sharp corners, or going downhill, or going uphill, you want to be mindful of the speed too. Um, the chair is only as smart as you are. So it's going to obey your directions. So uh, you want to be careful. Every power wheelchair also has a seat belt. It might seem silly to you, but actually it's a protection. Because for A or B reason, something happens to you and you get knocked over, which is a little hard, but let's say something happened in the road, a car came out and tapped you and you went over. That seat belt is gonna keep you in the chair and the frame of the chair is gonna protect you. So that's why it's, it's, that seat belt is there. Um, Let's see, what else? Safety, safety. You want to make sure the chair is in good shape. Tires, the seat belt, of course, um, that everything is functioning the way it should. Make sure you have a good relationship and touch base with the company where you got the wheelchair. Because they'll help you. They're there for that. So they'll let you know if there's a cost or if the insurance will cover it. <clears throat> or if your chair is still under warranty what sections of your chair is still under warranty. So different parts have different warranties. Some the cushions, I think, are like one year, and the frame is like for five years. Some companies have it for 10. So um, don't despair. Call the company, you know, and they'll uh, review things with you and let you know. You might even be up if it's been more than five years that you've had the chair, you would qualify for a new chair, to file file for a new chair if you went through insurance. Or if you didn't go through insurance the first time, and now you have insurance, you can try insurance. But you'd have to go through your doctor, 
and do the assessment, all that kind of stuff. So the kind of the process we talked about last time. Safety. Um, one of the things that I've learned in terms of safety uh, is the terrain. So when you're in a parking lot or outside on a sidewalk, you really want to watch where you're going and maneuver where it's flat. Avoid pools, of course, or dents or, you know, those little potholes that sometimes you see in, in the streets or the sidewalks. Uh, because that, that makes the chair kind of wobble a little bit, you know. Um, it, it, it will adjust. Usually these, uh, your casters, which are the smaller wheels that are in your front and in your back, they have some give, you know, so they'll, they'll adjust. But if the dip, if you're going into a dip, it might not be able to adjust and you just might go over. So you want to be careful. You want to avoid dips. So uh, that's just common sense and prudence. Uh, you you got to remember, it's a chair. It's, it's not a, a, a spacecraft. It's not uh, a race car. It, it's, a, it's a power wheelchair. So there's some, some things it's going to be able to adjust for you and some things it's not. So you want to be careful not to push the limits too much. Um, what else? I think in terms of safety, in terms of you being in the chair and you directing, you driving it, uh, those would be the basics, you know? Condition of the wheelchair. Make sure it's in good shape. Be inside, outside. Um, make sure that you are well seated, that the chair fits you, and you have your seat belt on, because that could protect you from potential incident. Um, <clears throat> make sure you, I'm looking at my chair when I look over there, so, <laughs> uh, it's inspiring me. Um, make sure that you are mindful of your speed, depending on the location you're in, the space you're in, who's around you, be mindful of your speed. It's not a race. You'll get there. You'll get to this, the place you need to go. So you don't have to run. Okay. Um, your distance, your distance from objects and your distance from people. Make sure that you can calculate uh, a prudent distance so that if you have to stop all of a sudden, that you don't hit a person or an object. The object could break your chair or you break the object. Um, if you hit a person, uh, because your wheelchair is heavy and you're in it, uh, you could hurt someone. So you you want to make sure you keep your distance from other people. Uh, sometimes people don't have, people who are walking around you, they're not thinking. They think you see them, that you know what to do. Um, but the first person who has to respond in a smart way to that is you because you're driving. Uh, so keep your distance. If someone gets too close, just slow down, let them go ahead, let them step aside, or just ask them to please move. Uh, your chair is heavy. You don't want to scrape them, swipe them, bump them. So uh, you, you got to do that sometimes. Uh, doo -doo. What else? Supermarkets, you know, speed. You want to slow down. Uh, keep your seatbelt on. Maybe a little bit loose, but sometimes you're going to have to lean over to get something. Uh, so that'll be important. I might do a session going to the grocery store, so then you can see how how I do it. Um, let's see. Oh, don't step on your uh, uh, the the little platform. Uh, be careful with the platform where your feet go. Uh, don't stand on it. It'll flip the chair. Either it'll flip the chair or break the platform. So uh, your foot rest. So it'll either break the foot breast and, you know, harm yourself, cut yourself, or it might tip the chair. So um, always have it up. Always have your chair off when you're transitioning from your power chair to another chair, power chair to somewhere else. So turn it off, then make the transition. If you bump the joystick, it might all of a sudden move. 
and that will throw you off balance. So <clears throat> it's another safety feature. So just, just keep this in mind. Okay, I'm gonna transition now to my chair, to my bed. I'm going to turn off the joystick. Okay, just kind of say it to yourself. I'm gonna turn off the joystick. I'm transitioning now. So um, that way, if you accidentally bump it, it's not gonna move on you. Um, let's see. Do, 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 do. Batteries, of course, you know, just the condition of the chair, batteries are included. So make sure the batteries are in good health and you don't stall somewhere. Uh, if you know your batteries are older, uh, check with the company, call them, just say, hey, I got this chair in such and such a year. I don't know how old the batteries are. Um, what kind of help can you give me? You know, how much would that cost? Uh, so batteries are important. You don't want to get stalled somewhere. Huh? So you got to keep these things in mind when you're in your power chair uh, and you are driving. You know, don't expect others to, to know what to do when they're around you because a lot of times they don't. Uh, but you do because you're watching this video. So, um, so those are the safety aspects. If you have another idea or another safety uh, pointer, put it down in the comments and uh, that will help others. I'll have another safety uh, video on emergencies in a home or a hotel or other areas so that you know what to do with you in your power wheelchair, how to evacuate safely. All right, so stay tuned and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.